Hello, hello. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I do. So, TGIF. I know it is finally Friday and I am doing my Friday first impressions. I know I haven't done it in a couple of weeks. I do apologize, you guys. I have had a lot going on and I just haven't gotten to it. So, like I said, I do apologize. In addition to that, I've kind of been um, really stuck on the products that I've been currently using. So, I didn't have a lot of new stuff that I was trying, but I do now with the new boxes and stuff coming in this month. I definitely dove into some of the new products that I got, gave them a try, and I'm going to share that with y'all tonight, go through a few of them, and let you know what my thoughts are on them. If you are not familiar with my Friday First Impressions, um, it is a little series that I do on Friday nights where I go over some of the products that I've gotten new items, well, new to me, and give you an idea of my thoughts. I like them. I don't like them. And I give them a rating of like one to five and let you know what I think. Now, of course, I am no professional. It is only my personal opinion. And I just share that with y'all. <laughs> um, but... Also, too, if you are new to my channel, I am Jessica. <laughs> I guess I should have said that in the beginning, right? Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, you'll smash that subscribe button and come back again. If you're not new, then thanks for coming back. I love you guys. Appreciate you. And, okay, let's dive in and go through these products. And I'll let you know what I think. Now, the first Thing I'm going to let you know I've been using is by Grown Alchemist and it's got tiny writing hold on okay so this is the detox night cream yeah that's what she looks like I got this in my boxy charm and I got another Grown Alchemist product last month, and it was a mattifying moisturizer, and I've got oily skin. Really, really liked it, so I was excited to get this night cream, give it a try. Um, I like it. I'm not in love with it. When you... Put it on, okay, there, it's like a regular cream. When you put it on, it doesn't initially feel like overly thick, but as it sits on your skin, it doesn't really feel like it soaks in a lot. So once it's on your skin, it does feel thicker, if that makes sense. The scent mm, it smells like cream. It doesn't really have any like standout scent. It definitely moisturizes. It feels really good overnight, but because I have oily skin, it is a little thicker than I like. It is a night mask, so it's not necessarily a really, really bad thing, but it's just not my absolute favorite. If I was to rate it, I would probably give it kind of a middle score of like three. It's good. Definitely moisturizing. Definitely very, very hydrating. I feel like this is more of a night cream if you have really dry skin. I think your skin will just soak this up incredibly. 
I just think that because I have oily skin, hmm, I don't know. So that's my first thing. It's good. Isn't that great? It's good. All right. Moving on. Next. Okay, so this I just got in, what did I get it in? My Ipsy Plus. Yes. Um, okay, so I had gotten this Tula product. This is a primer also, I believe. I can't remember if I, yes, I did review this and I didn't like it. Um, this is a Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. Um, I think I reviewed this a few weeks ago on my Friday First Impressions. That's what it looks like. It's really weird. I wasn't a fan of this primer. It just, I don't know, didn't do it for me. So... I wasn't sure how I was going to like this Tula primer, but I do like Tula products in general. This is the Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. And surprisingly enough, I actually love this. This is a definite, definite hit. But if you look, it's like a serum. So it goes on. It's really light, but it it's super moisturizing. And it goes on really, really nice. It soaks right in. And I feel like it creates a perfect base for my makeup. And again, because I have oily skin, I've got to be really careful. But I also have big pores and everything. So I always use a primer. Doesn't really have a smell to it. But this worked incredible. Incredible. I absolutely love it. If I see it in add-ons or anything, I am going to scoop up another one because I feel like it worked really, really good. Now, if I give it a rating, I would say, I mean, I'd probably give it a five because I feel like it does really good with my pores and helps blur or minimize my pores. And it moisturizes really good. So it really checks all the marks. It's really good. I highly recommend this. This is a great primer. If you come across it or you get it, scoop it up. This is a keeper. Really like it. Okay. Next. Milk makeup. Now... Their products are hit or miss for me. I have not had very good luck. Some of them I do like, but this is their, it's a waterproof, Kush waterproof mascara. And I believe, would we get this in BoxyCharm? It's a really big mascara too. Look at that. Look how big it is. Um, I do like waterproof mascaras don't mind them at all. It's got a really nice fluffy spoolie on it. I tried this a couple of times and it did not make my lashes as full and lengthened as I prefer. Now, my top two mascaras are Thrive Mascara and It Cosmetics Superhero. I don't feel it lived up to them. However, I did use it 
as a top coat with a couple other mascaras. So I used it in combination with another mascara and it worked great. So I am definitely going to continue using it. It's just not a top number one for me. Um, like I said, it separates your lashes really good. I didn't see any like flaking or anything like that. So that's really good. I just prefer a mascara that's going to lengthen and volumize a lot more than this one did. So if I'm going to rate this, I'm only going to give it a three. And I give it a three because I am still going to use it. And the waterproof aspect of it worked really good. Again, there was no flaking or anything like that. And I am able to use it in conjunction with another mascara. So, that's fine. I just, my go-tos, like with my It Cosmetics mascara, I only need one coat. And even my Thrive Mascara. So, this doesn't live up to that. It's not comparable. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Alright. This is by Sorme. This is the Always Perfect Professional Brow Shaping Kit. I got this in my Slay Glam. And I thought it was a really cool concept. And, oh, I'm missing some of the, the things. <laughs> okay, so it came with this. The color was really good. This is like a powder eyebrow. Like... Thing. It came with a little brush, but I can't find the brush. I didn't really use the brush. I have an, um, other brushes that I use with it. Alright, so it comes with these little stencil things, right? Yeah. And, I don't know, can you, alright, there you go. And what you're supposed to do is be able to put this up here and stencil your brow in, right? Yeah, no. And then turn it around and sew this up here and stencil the other brow in. Well, I don't know if I've got a small face, a small head, or what. But these were huge. Look at how big that was. I don't know. This stuff doesn't work for me. Um, like I said, it was a really cool concept. And I was super excited to try them out and be like, ooh. Because, I mean, my eyebrows are so basic. Um, and I'm not very good at doing brows. So, I figured, yay, this is going to help me do them. And it did come with a couple of different stencils with different shapes. But <laughs> they're kind of MIA. Um, yeah. It didn't work for me. And the stencils kept moving and stuff like that. So, now I will say the powder worked okay. Using a, you know, a really stiff, flat edge, you know, eyebrow detail brush worked. The powder worked fine. The color was fine for my complexion, my eyebrow and color and everything. It's just these did not work. So, I am giving this a, I'll give it a two because this was fine and I will still be able to use this. So that's fine. But these, yeah, no. No. Well, no. Hold on, we'll get rid of those. And, oh, did I find the other stencil? No. Those are gone. Hasta la vista. So long, farewell. 
not gonna happen. Sorry, Charlie. Bleh. Again, cool concept, just not working. Okay, last but not least is a palette. This is a Morphe palette that I got from a dear, dear friend of mine. And she sent this around my birthday. Yeah. Jeannie, I love you. Go check her channel out. She's wonderful, sweet as pie, love her to death. This is the Morphe main event 24M. I think this is like the Mitchell palette or something. I don't know. Look at this thing. I have been eyeing this for the longest time, right? Tell me that is not the coolest thing. I'm obsessed with this palette. It performs incredibly. And look at the glitters and all the neat colors. I have done so many different looks just playing with this. I, have, I, I reach for it every other day. If I could, I'd reach for it every day. I have not been able to put this baby down. And it comes with a really good mirror. But I don't know. Can you see the glitters I've got on today? Yeah. Played with it again today. And I used the um, black silver glitter right here. And some of these maroons. And then this row right here. It's so cool. If you wet it, not only... Um, it works wet for eyeliner and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's a pressed pigment or what, but it says right on the packaging that if you wet it, you can um, use it for liner and everything. So yeah, these shimmers, everything, the pigments are just phenomenal. They blend incredibly. I give this baby a five. It's got warm tones. It's got cool tones. It, I mean, like I said, it's got like the navy blues right here. You've got purple, these mustardy colors, little, the pink, this reddish, I don't know. I think this is a shimmer here, this gold glitter. I mean, I'm obsessed with this palette. I have been having so much fun playing with it and been... It's already a mess, too. <laughs> but I love it. Love, love, love it. And I've been having so much fun coming up with different looks and everything with it. I give it a five all day long. Um, love, love it. Have I mentioned that I love that palette? Um, yeah. It's super, super good palette. If you have it, let me know if you love it as much as I do. Because, like I said, like today, playing, putting that, the glitters on. Ugh. So much fun. So much fun. So, yeah. Those were the products that I grabbed this week to review for you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried some of them. Are some of them your faves? You're not so faves. You like them? You don't like them? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know. So, that is it. Thanks as always for coming to hang out with me. And I do appreciate y'all so, so much. I love you bunches. I hope you have a great, great weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.